lead code challenge and this would be my approximately 900th video on lead code we have been solving lead code daily problems from approximately two years now and uh, let's quickly walk through the question the question says you are given a binary tree and you are also given a target sum value what do you need to do you need to return all the root to leaf path that sum up till the target value so here they are provided us with an example i'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it the same example that was specified in the question uh, the question says we have a total target sum of 22 so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna iterate in a bfs traversal kind of a fashion and i'll keep track of two three things over here the first one is the running sum as i'm traversing from the root to the leaves along with this i'll also keep track of the nodes that i have seen so far what i'm trying to say let's walk through the same example so let's start the iteration right now the running sum is zero and this is a new element that we are seeing which is the root of the binary tree uh, the value here is 5. So what I'm going to do, I'm add, I'm going to add 5 to this running sum and the total sum gets updated to 5. Along with this, I'll also keep track of the nodes that I have seen so far. So let me just create an array list and I'll add 5 onto it. Let's proceed ahead. What I'm going to do next, I'll iterate towards the left child in one branch and towards the right child in the other branch. And I'll pass in these values to it. So these two values get passed onto the left child. What is the running sum over here? The running sum over here is 5. 5 plus 4 gives you 9. So this gives you 9. This is still not equal to 22. Along with this, since uh, the sum is not equal to 22, what I'm, what I'm going to do, I'll also add 4 to the running list value. Now the running list have two parameters, 5 and 4. Similarly, I'll do the same thing for the right subtree as well. Uh, here the running sum was 5, 5 plus 8 gives you 13 and the running list gets updated to 5 comma 8. Let's proceed ahead. Let's start the iteration considering this node as the root node and what we are going to do, we'll move towards its left child, we'll move towards its right child. So let's move towards its left child. 9 plus 11 gives you 20. 20 is still not equal to the uh, target sum that we have 22 and what i'm gonna do i'll add values onto my running uh, list variables so 5 4 and 9 these are the three variables that got added let's proceed ahead i'm gonna do the same thing over here as well so 13 plus 13 gives you 26 26 is greater than 22 as a result of which uh, this branch that we have seen so far 5 8 13 is not a valid branch as per the constraint specified in the question this branch doesn't lead to the total sum of 22 that's the reason we are going to discard this up so this gets discarded let's walk through the rest part of the binary tree that we have so we move towards the left direction now we'll move towards the right direction and what do we have over here we have 4 so 13 plus 4 gives you 17 and our running list gets updated to 5 8 4 let's do the same thing again and uh, we have two nodes over here the first one is 5 let's pass in this entire value to the child node 5 plus uh, 17 gives you 22 so uh, the total sum or the running sum gets updated to 22 along with this what variables do we have here over here we have 5 8 we have 4 and followed by another 5 what do you see what do you see over here you see that the running sum has become equal to your target value as a result of which you have found out one possibility of answer and this possibility of answer is given by the running list that you have so 5845 gets added to your answer list so this is one part of the answer it gets added over there uh, and let's proceed to the other part of the tree the other part of the tree is uh, 1 so 17 plus 1 gives you 18 18 is not equal to 22 we're gonna discard this up let's move towards the other part of the tree that is left uh, from over here we'll move in both the directions one towards left other one towards the right let's move towards the left direction 20 plus 7 gives you 27 the running list that we have is 5 4 9 7 so let's write that up 5 4 9 7 and as you can see that 27 is not equal to a target value so we are gonna discard this out let's do the same thing over here as well 20 plus 2 gives you 22 the running sum is equal to your target value what is the running list 5492 so let's update it to 5492 and 
this gives us the other possibility of answer so in total there are two possibilities of answer the first one is 5845 the other one is 5492 this is in sync with our expectation and we are exactly follow the same traversal as i have just talked here over in the coding section as well uh, so without further ado let's quickly walk through it here i have created my list of list which will actually store my answer result so this inner list is for storing one possibility of answer and outer list is for storing all possibilities of answer i have created a dfs method let's see what all parameters are part of the dfs method the root of the binary tree running sum as i talked in the presentation my answer uh, that will actually answer list that will actually store my answer is followed by the running list that i talked in the ppt as well and my target sum value so let's walk through it uh, we have done plenty of questions on similar lines in the past and i'm pretty sure the subscribers of coding new coded would be able to solve this question by themselves uh for the first thing that i have written is if root is null return back otherwise you, what do you do you update your total running sum or total current sum you add running sum plus root dot val on to it and you add it to your running list you add the current node on to your running list in case you have reached the uh, terminal state that means the leaf node and your target sum is equal to the total running sum what do you do you found out one possibility of answer and you add the current list onto your answer list with and once you are done with this you simply return back you don't proceed ahead otherwise what do you do you iterate in a dfs fashion and uh, you walk through the right side first you can go for the left side either so these two can be swapped uh, you update your total running sum with running sum plus root value and you pass in ans you pass in the running list and you pass in the target similarly for the left child as well so let's update it also instead of this you can pass in total current sum here as well because it means the same the time complexity of this approach is order of n because you are iterating over each and every node only once With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, if you are interested in solving more questions of the tree series, where you can go, you can find it on Coding Decoded SD Revision Sheet. So, go and check out the tree list. And if you more need more revision, this is the right place for you. You will see those questions as well that are highly important from interviewer's perspective. Those are marked with double asterisk sign. So, if you have a very important interview lined up, these are the questions that are must do. Also, in case you st get stuck with any of the question, the YouTube solution is stated as well uh, in this column. So uh, you don't have to look out for any solutions over the net. Everything is listed over here. With this, let's wrap up the session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your subscription truly means a lot to me. Thanks for watching it. Have a great day ahead, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.